He paid 25 cents for this at a garage sale and took a best offer of $800. Three, two, one. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big bunny, big bunny, <laughs> big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, I am featuring AA Antiques and Collectibles. And this is his eBay store. Definitely go and give him a follow. I will link it down below. Click on that heart up at the top, and that will let you know when he posts new items and also when he sends out coupons. So it's a great way to learn and you might find something you want to buy because he's got some really cool stuff. Here's that little saved seller heart that you can click on. So let's talk about these Bolo items. The first item is this vintage Grand Prix circuit poster. And it's new old stock. It looks like he has more than 10 available. He picked these up at a garage sale. One of them sold for $114.88 with free shipping. The next item is this vintage KitchenAid Hobart Grain Mill Food Grinder, and it is pre-owned in the original box. He got this at a garage sale for $2 and sold it for $124.88 with free shipping. These are childhood set of vintage Matchbox Scorpion Sizzlers, and it's a five-piece set. This is what they look like. They got little scorpions on the top of them. He got these at a garage sale for $3 and sold them for $199.88, free shipping, and that was an auction. This is a Jessica Simpson Reality Tour tee, and it is not single stitch. This is what it looks like. He picked this up at a garage sale for $1, took a best offer of $100. It's from 2004. So it doesn't have to be every, like, super uh, like, you know, Kiss Band and all of those Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. Those are big money bolo t-shirts. But even items like this, Jessica Simpson, Britney Spears, look those up as well. More current, maybe not as old. 2004 doesn't go as far back as some of the ones from the 80s and the 70s and the ones with the single stitch. These can still bring good money. This is a porcelain I don't know how to say it. Chino Rizuri monkey pot green vintage figure. And he got this at a garage sale for $5 and took a best offer of $100 with free shipping. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Look at his little flowered shirt. Love it. This is a Walt Disney classic figurine Bambi statue. Good morning, young prince in the original box. This came from a garage sale. $10 is what he paid for it. And he sold it for $158.88 free shipping. Prisma Color Premier Colored Pencils. These are definitely a bolo. He got this at a garage sale for $5 and sold it for a best offer of $150. The next item are these Beetle Wheel Cover Cap Hub Cover Set, set of four. He got these at a garage sale for $20 and sold them for full asking of $174.88 with free shipping. These are Hot Wheels red line cars, two of them here. And you can see right here, the red line that goes around the wheel. That is how you know they are red line. He got these for $2, took a best offer of $125 for the two cars. This is a laser disc, rare and sealed. It's Doctor Who. He got this at a garage sale for $1 and took a best offer of $150 with free shipping. Love this. Um, Laguiel, Laguiel by Flying Colors. I don't know how to say it. Never heard of this brand, but just on coolness of colors, definitely would have considered picking it up, I think. 36 pieces here. He got these at a garage sale for 10 and took a best offer of 150 with free shipping. Navajo Sterling Silver Turquoise Cuff Bracelet Sand Cast. He got this at a garage sale for $20 and sold it for $198.88 with free shipping. This is a vintage 1972 U.S. military parachute harness. Look at that. 
This one came from a garage sale. He only paid $5 for it. It sold for $199.88 with free shipping. Little homies. These are definitely a bolo if you're not familiar with them. They're little figurine toys, and I think they're very nostalgic for people, and they will pick them up. These sold on auction for $204.50 with free shipping, and he picked these up at a garage sale for $5. Mid-century modern lamps. Now, these are big and heavy. I am sure a pain to ship. He got these at a garage sale for $10 and sold for $224.88 with free shipping. A rare vintage 1970s Lord of the Rings poster by Pauline Baines, Middle Earth Map. This one here came from a garage sale for $2 and sold for full asking of $2.48.88 with free shipping. Eight Santa Clara Pueblo signed Deborah Paul Gut Gutteiser. I can't say it. Whatever. You guys can look at the title. <laughs> Their pottery animal collection. He got these at a garage sale for 10 and sold them for a best offer of 200 free shipping. This is a vintage wood sculpture by Joseph Durr as one signed abstract sculpture art. This one came from a garage sale, $20 and took a best offer of 225 free shipping. This is a purse, you guys. It's a skeleton handbag wristlet purse. Looks like somebody made it. It's one of a kind. He got this unbelievably at a garage sale for $5. Sold it for $289.88 with free shipping. All track video monitor with instructions, new old stock. This here came from a garage sale, $5, and he took a best offer of $300 with free shipping. This is a Bell Custom 500 Carbon Helmet Vintage Retro Carbon Fiber with Leather Bag. This came from a garage sale. He did pay up $40 for this and sold it for a best offer of $300 free shipping. This is really cool. Um, let me get it here for you. I actually had to record this twice. The first time I recorded it, it was echoing and having feedback. So I'm doing it again. That's why the picture was not in the right place. Check this out. This is rad. 20-inch sterling turquoise ch kachina mid-century modern art pieces. He got this for $10 at a garage sale and took a best offer of 300 free shipping. He finds amazing things for amazing prices at garage sales. I know he likes to bundle and he gets really good deals that way. This is a Hazel Olsen 1980s pottery earthware cat's wind chime. $20 at a garage sale, took a best offer of 300 with free shipping. These boots I, right here are by... Oh my goodness, can't talk. <laughs> These boots right here are made by R.M. Williams. I've never heard of that. Sydney Olympic Special Edition. I don't know. Would you have picked them up or walked past them? He got these for $10 at a garage sale, sold them for a best offer of $300 free shipping. This is a 27-inch rare hanging Batman from 1989, sealed with cardboard Keaton store display. Another great deal, $10 at a garage sale and sold it for $350 plus shipping. Star Trek Fleet Captain's four autographed 8x10 photos. He got this at a garage sale for $30 and sold it for full asking price of $488.88 with free shipping. This one here is a set of Hot Wheels. There's 12 of them. Super California Custom Big pop-up engine vintage on the cards guys he paid $25 for these and sold them for 450 free shipping this is a 1939 new york world's fair art deco saturn lamp by house he got this one at a garage sale for five dollars and took a best offer of 550 free shipping this one is going to knock your socks off Unpunched box, 1966, Topps Green Hornet sticker lot, new old stock. He paid 25 cents for this at a garage sale and took a best offer of $800. These red line cars, 48 pieces. 
he picked these up at a garage sale for $200 and sold them for $1,035 on auction. And the last one here is this boombox. Vintage boomboxes can definitely be a bolo. He got this for $20 at a garage sale and sold it for $1,750 with free shipping. So again, I invite you to go down below and check out the store link for AA Antiques and Collectibles. Give him a follow by clicking on the saved seller. Check out what he has to offer. Great eBay store. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, I am on Whatnot. I do have my Bolo Buddies earrings over there for $5 a piece. If you guys are interested in getting some, uh, I think, very fair priced merch. These are awesome. I absolutely love them. I also have um, Halloween and Thanksgiving available. So five bucks over on Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, you can use my referral link down below. That's going to get you $15 to shop. So you can come over and essentially get your earrings free if you use my link to join. So that's pretty cool. These were made by Lucky Day Shop. Definitely check her out. I will link her down below. Um, she's incredible. She has an awesome Whatnot also. She sells jewelry and some other things, but uh, she has some really fantastic earrings in her buy it now section, different graphics of things. A lot of them are Halloween right now, but she has some beautiful butterflies. She's great. So check out the links down below of some other things that I use, uh, like List Perfectly, American Bubble Boy. Those links are all down below. So check them out. Those are my referral or affiliate links. So I do get a commission when you guys use them. So I really, really appreciate it when you guys help support the channel by using those links. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it definitely helps me. And if I have something that I'm promoting or sharing, it is something that I use and that I love. So just keep that in mind when you're checking out these things. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.